so first I'm gonna teach you the scales and then the shakes so for the for the transitions you gotta always make transitions on adjustment clips because that's way better than doing it on the clip itself so just drag an adjustment clip from the effects library um, drag it uh, so it's the same length as your clip then drag it to your media pool right here so you can fix the frame rate delete this one and then drag the one from the effect uh, the media pool back here and always use adjustment clips from the effects uh, from the media pool and not from the effects library because the frame rate from the effects library is just fucked it's gonna be a uh, zoom out yeah this one right here I'm gonna use this one because the motion blur is a lot better and I'll just make the zoom 5 no I said 5 yes enable motion blur I don't recommend putting your motion blur on 10 quality that puts a lot of strain on your PC maybe like 6 or 5 uh, is okay okay so now now that you keyframed everything go to your spline right here press this little thing so you can so it moves the view to the keyframes highlight everything press s so you can ease it ease the curve and make the same spline as mine and then I'm gonna do a zoom in I'm just gonna drag a second adjustment clip put it on top add a transform node not this one though keyframe close to the beginning at 1 and here at the end just press the right arrow key so it goes here and not here you gotta you always gotta keyframe here and not here because this is not the last frame this is the last frame and um, if you keyframe your movement here uh, it ends on this frame and it looks bad because you can see the movement stops for a split second and it's really annoying uh, so make sure you always keyframe here and not here just press the right arrow key uh, and make the zoom in 5 again that's for a zoom in for the second clip basically the same spline see oh I forgot motion blur never forget motion blur like if you forget to turn on the motion blur most of your transitions won't look good at all so never forget motion blur okay so for this uh, zoom in on the second clip just drag an adjustment clip above the second clip control spacebar add a transform node keyframe at the beginning and close to the end the beginning should be like 0 0.3 I actually thought I'd put the first keyframe uh, one frame behind the the start of the clip instead of the, the beginning of the clip because it will once again look better uh, it's the same reason as with the for the previous clip but you should make your spline less tight in this case and now for a zoom out again drag an adjustment clip on top control space bar transform boom close to the beginning keyframe the zoom at 1 make the edge behavior reflect and then on this frame not this one on this frame make the zoom 0 
spline here highlight everything as so see that's what we end up with uh, and also don't worry about the the mirroring you can see a lot of it here uh, but we'll fix that in a second when we do the shakes you'll see we'll fix that but those are the the transitions a zoom out a zoom in and a zoom out again um, and now for the shakes so for, uh, for the shakes add an adjustment clip below the transitions that's very important add your shake adjustment clips below the transition adjustment clips that's really important um, so for the first shake at a transform node this transform node can be the normal one not the new one it's whatever just click here make the the edges mirror uh, and keyframe the angle and center at the beginning and make the size 1.2 that way on our both on our transitions and shakes there won't be any mirroring uh, you see uh, because the clip is more zoomed in and you won't be able to see the mirroring you can also add uh, black bars I'll show you how to do that as well but yeah keyframe at the beginning uh, angle 6 center just change the Y position to something like 0 uh, 500 and like 0 0.6 actually that's good uh, then at the middle keyframe it to 0 0.4 and then at the end here because it's a shake it doesn't matter if it's here or here it's whatever but I'll still put it here uh, just make it 0 0.6 again and make the rotation minus 6 instead of 6 spline click this highlight everything hit S disable the angle because we don't need to mess with that for now uh, click here again highlight it and change like tilt this to where it's straight so that will look a lot better see it's not hard so for the second shake again drag an adjustment clip in add a transform node uh, again make the edges to mirror size 1.2 beginning keyframe the center and the angle the angle is 6 at the beginning no minus 6 this time make both the X and Y center 0 0.6 at the beginning then 0 0.4 at the middle both of them make the angle like four positive four no five yeah five and then at the end again 0 0.6 for both and minus five for the rotation and we're uh, we're done and now uh spline again highlight everything make this straight then disable the displacement and enable only the angle click this again highlight it and change this to where it's straight at two and you should be good we may need to lower the values a little bit because that may be a that may be too intense eh, it's fine i guess if it's too intense for you you can lower the values but that's fine for now then for the third shake it's simple again transform edges mirror size 1.2 beginning keyframe angle and center minus 6 for the beginning 0 0.6 <coughs> on both the X and Y position 
then close to the middle but not exactly on the middle make it 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 then at the middle make the angle 4 then close to the end somewhere around here somewhere around here actually uh, make the center like something like this I guess and then go to the end and click the right arrow five times make this like so something like this and then make this like so and minus four for the rotation highlight everything oops highlight everything as make all of these sticks straight as well as the angle so yeah this is the final result you can see a lot of mirroring here but I would fix that by either zooming in the clip more uh, or just putting the beginning keyframe which is 0 0.3 right now I would put it at like 0 0.5 and do a tighter graph like this kinda so this is the spline I have right now and that looks better because there is less uh, mirroring so yeah that's about it um, these are not the only shakes you can do you can get very creative with shakes uh, make sure to not put to not make sure not to put uh, too high values otherwise they will look very intense like this one kind of here it, it's a little too intense uh, but you can be very creative with shakes you can do a lot of things uh, just experiment feel comfortable experimenting and trying out new things and, um, yeah that was it from me I uh, hope I could help and bye bye.